What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. So it looks like today was a double dose of Mayweather. First, he had it streamed on Ustream, his media day. Basically, a light workout. On the media days, they don't want to expose too much of their game plan. It's really a, a light workout. Um, they still break a sweat in order to get um, the media some footage and some interviews and fans to... It's like a meet and greet. So I watched that. I didn't get to watch all of it because I had to run to Costco. I recorded it. So I'm going to finish um, watching that. I'm not going to talk too much about that just because I haven't seen all of it. i just seen some of the interviews and whatnot. But I did want to talk about Showtime All Access Episode 2, Mayweather Guerrero. As you guys know, last week when I did my review on the first episode, I said I really liked the show. Um, one thing that I liked, that I continue to like, I guess you could say, is I like the way Showtime approaches it, and I feel they don't have to reach as much as some of the episodes of HBO 24-7. Now, I like Mayweather as a fighter. Um, so usually the 24-7s with him were interesting, in my opinion, just because you don't really know, love him or hate him, you don't really know what the guy's going to say. So it just made for good entertainment. However, there were some episodes of 24-7 that I did watch, and it seemed kind of dull, kind of boring. Um, particularly, I think it was is Marquez versus Pacquiao episode, one of the episodes, and it was for the third fight, I believe it was. And they focused almost a whole episode on how Pacquiao was cleansing his life, going through a spiritual cleansing. And I'm not knocking anybody's religion or that approach. I mean, more power to him. But to spend a whole episode or a, a good portion of the episode talking about Pacquiao doing Bible studies and reading Psalms. And it just was, it was kind of boring. And Showtime has really let the story unfold on its own i don't feel like they're reaching it just feels a little bit more natural from what i've seen I'm not saying i'm trying to shit on hbo 24 7 um because i've been a long time fan of hbo boxing as well as the 24 7 series but again like i said last week the direction they're heading with the 24 7 it just seems like a more balanced more let the let the tell tell itself naturally um it's not really a, a bad guy versus good guy thing. They show aspects of Mayweather where he's being cocky. They also show aspects of Mayweather enjoying family time or saying he misses his kids dearly. They show they show the Guerrero camp working hard. They also show the Guerrero vulnerable moments. when In this episode, he was talking to his wife. She can't be with him at camp. I believe he is in Vegas. Um, and he was just telling her how the room that they, they've been uh, given or the room that's being rented for him to stay while he's training he said the master bedroom was huge he's like baby you'll never believe it it's huge i miss you and the kids etc and to me that's good because robert guerrero is a fighter who never really gets his just due he doesn't get his due credit in my opinion he's been underrated for a while um if you look at other fighters who who have got a lot of recognition he's a fighter that stepped up to different challenges in his career and he de he never really gets full props so i like how um he's finally getting to experience some of the the limelight if you will by just having to fight on this platform this big of a stage they're obviously taking care of him in terms of comping his room or giving him a nice room so i really like that one thing that's kind of weird is um his father ruben guerrero he's talking and some of the stuff he's saying I don't really agree with. He was basically saying it's personal. This fight is personal because the Mayweathers have been talking a lot of trash. And and from everything that I've seen, including tweets and just things in interviews, it seems like the Guerrero camp has been more of the one fueling the fire. Now, you could say it's selling the fight or whatever. That's your opinion. Um, and I don't care. I'm just saying don't act like the Mayweathers are the ones who are antagonizing you if you guys are the ones that are instigating these situations. And from what I've seen, I've seen more of the Guerreros um, throwing gas on the fire than I have Mayweather. To be honest, I don't know if it's the jail sentence. I don't know if it's the new partnership or deal with Showtime. And they're maybe trying to make Mayweather look a little bit more humble and wholesome. I really don't know. But I truthfully haven't heard Mayweather do too much shit talking as far as Guerrero. I've seen several interviews about this fight. Mayweather was more or less humble. He was just saying things like Guerrero obviously did the right things in his career to earn this shot at me, and we'll see May 4th. He hasn't really been doing too much 
um, slandering or shit talking like he did with Shane Mosley or whatever. So it's a different side to see from Mayweather. Um, the I guess the closest you could say would be that first face off where they're in front of the green screen and it's like I don't know who you beat I don't know who you lost to. I mean that was the most aggressive that I ever seen him in reference to uh, the Guerreros. So. Like I said, All Access Episode 2, I enjoyed it. Um, this this was more or less a father and son kind of underlying storyline where they were, they were interviewing Floyd Sr. and he was giving his insight as to the fight. They did a lot of interviews uh, with Robert Robert's dad, Ruben Guerrero. But like I said, I don't understand why he feels that the Mayweathers are the ones instigating when everything that I've seen has really been the Guerreros. I mean, they're getting pinatas made and putting Floyd Mayweather's face on it, etc. Um, and then another thing Ruben Guerrero said, he said that Mayweather's scared because he knows, he knows what he's in for. That's why he has his father in his corner training him, plus Roger. He, he needs two, basically he needs two people um, to combat whatever Robert's going to bring. So I don't know. All in all, I'm just glad that all fighters are confident in their own skill. Everyone's coming to bring it, so there can be no excuses. May the best man win. And really, there there can't be any excuses. Both fighters have tremendous confidence in what they bring to the table, and that's their corners feel confident, and them as fighters, they both feel confident, so that's good. No excuses. He's a mandatory, so he can't be cherry-picked. Um, that's really it that I got to say about episode two. Oh, yeah, uh, Ruben Guerrero, he was... He was grilling some food. He talked about Robert's diet. And he was grilling some chicken that looked fucking delicious. So I'm going to go eat right now because that food looked good and it made me hungry. So as always, hate, comment, or subscribe. Let me subscribe. Excuse me. Hate, comment, or subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought of episode two. What are your predictions for the fight? Leave a comment. Until next video, it's Ego signing off.